Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Make everyone happy. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. It's a small toolbox. Should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Gas keeps the generators going, and the generators keep the fence going. Yeah, doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point.
Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the Motor Inn, where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <sighs> it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> <laughs>
kids. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. It's a feeding trough. Mm. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Empty. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, the guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. 
Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Alrighty then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me? I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a thread of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. Think I'll go have a look around. 
kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage, some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. how to fix this if something goes wrong. we clueless about this stuff. Power switch. Access back. a screwdriver for this. There you go. Looks like that belt's driving the, uh, whatchamacallit, um... <clears throat> that thing is all too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? The oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this will take forever. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Mm, screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Dinner time. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idea, brother. Hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? 
No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. 